Thanks for joining us this Thursday evening on Valley News Live at 10. A beautiful look on our home of economy Skycam in Grand Forks shows those flags still being uh, uh, moved by a bit of a breeze out there this evening, but by and large that breeze is quite a bit less than it was earlier this evening. Look at this current wind speeds around 10 to 15 miles per hour or so. The windiest conditions down in Fergus Falls still gusting to 21. Even Fargo just got a recent gust around 25 miles per hour. But for our friends in Jamestown, Valley City around 10 to 15 miles per hour respectively in those locations. Winds are still a bit out of the south and they'll help keep our temperatures somewhat mild overnight tonight as well. A few passing clouds there mainly in the northern valley. No concerns there on satellite for any impactful weather in our neck of the woods. 50 in Bedette is the cool spot at this hour. 58 in Grand Forks and in Fargo. Sisseton has cooled to 53 degrees uh, right now with Watertown, our friends down south, still holding on to 61 degrees, so 50s for pretty much everybody if you are stepping out for a late night walk. Here's how Hurricane Delta looks. Watching this very carefully. Currently a Category 3 with winds gusting to 150 miles per hour at the 10 o'clock update. Looking to strengthen a Category 3 hurricane in the, or state as a Category 3 hurricane, in the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico before making landfall in the Gulf Coast of Louisiana as either a Category 3 or Category 2 before it weakens quickly as it heads north of Jackson, Mississippi. But this is going to happen or in the afternoon or evening hours tomorrow when it looks to make landfall. And that's that's an area that's already been absolutely devastated by tropical systems. So going to be watching that very carefully. We'll likely be making news and weather headlines into the weekend. The hour by hour closer to home shows those winds do even uh, calm down even further by the three o'clock hour. But notice the temperatures still in the 50s. So our, that south wind helps keep our temperatures fairly steady as we head into the morning hours tomorrow by 730 a.m. Upper 40s up toward the north with low to mid 50s for pretty much everybody else early on our Friday morning. Plenty of sunshine joins us on Friday. Look at this. The winds shift. We've got a dry cold front coming through and the winds will shift to the northwesterly direction. So it will be a little breezy out of the northwest as we head into the afternoon. But look at these temperatures. Sunshine helps us warm into the 60s to 70s by lunch. And then by dinner time, 60s, 70s. Could even see some low 80s off toward the south and west. Plenty of sunshine. Still a bit of a northwesterly breeze, though, 15 to 15 miles per hour or so for the afternoon. Those winds then calm down after sunset. But cooler air moves in from the north by, say, 5 a.m. Saturday morning seeing 30s to 40s for those morning temperatures on Saturday. So a nice mild night in store tonight before a chillier night on Saturday or into Saturday, I should say. But then for Sunday, we do have a first alert weather day. Most of the weekend will be quiet, but Sunday evening we'll be watching for the potential of some strong to severe storms. Primary threat looking to be wind in any of these storms that may become strong to severe. So it looks like mainly in northern Minnesota at this point. You can see a European model shows the south winds on Sunday. And then late Sunday, that line of storms making its way through. So we'll be watching that one very carefully for you. And of course, make sure to have that VNL weather app in case any of those storms do indeed become severe on Sunday. Your hometown forecast shows those 60s for tomorrow up north with lots of 70s in the central part of the valley with those low A's off toward the south. Plenty of sunshine, a summer-like day for us for tomorrow. A beautiful photo of the day comes from uh, Twin Valley, Minnesota. Uh, some beautiful morning clouds. Thanks, Annette, for uploading that one to our website. So for Saturday, we're quite a bit cooler, mid 60s. There's that first alert weather day on Sunday, but then look at this much cooler 50s and 60s next week. All right. Thanks, Nathan.